Hi, my name is Ali Shersava from Breacher Digital and uh, over the next few minutes we're going to talk a little bit more about Bodhi plots and how much they tell us about a stability. Uh, this is a second part of the video that we made earlier on uh, whereby we discussed in theory what we got information we're trying to extract about the Bode, from the from the Bodhi plot and we talked about the crossover frequency, uh, we talked about the phase margin and it had to be above, uh, oh that should be uh, minus 180 I'm sorry, and minus 130. We talked about the phase margin and how much above one, minus 180 it had to be in order to have a stable power supply. We talked about the gain margin and we also talked about that we want the slope of the gain to be shallow as it crosses the zero dB axis. So what we have done now is we are going to make a real measurement uh, and if I can draw your attention to the setup that we've got over here. Uh, here I've got a Bodhi 100 vector network analyzer. I have got an injection transformer. Uh, this is a, a standard buck converter that we use in many of the workshops that we run. And here and I've, I have got a analog voltage mode a uh, buck converter to control, controller to control my power stage. So the control is being carried out here by my uh, uh, control chip. The power stage is over here. I'm injecting the signal into my system just as we discussed in the previous video. We are going to talk about the full details of how you make these measurements in a different video. But uh, for now we're just going to show you the results so that we can see in real life the parameters that we discussed such as crossover frequency gain margin and phase margin. So if I have a look at my screen over here, this is the uh, analyzer suite from Bodhi 100 and you can see the top trace, the blue trace is my gain, that is now the real measurement uh, of, my, of my gain and the, bot the bottom trace, the red trace here is my phase. With the cursor over here, I can look at what my phase is at a certain frequency. I am interested in a crossover frequency and you can see here that is telling me my gain and of course the crossover frequency happens at 0 dBs so if I type in 0 over here the cursor will automatically jump to the crossover frequency and then I can run, I can look at my value here to see what the crossover frequency for this power supply is. You can see that is 9.6 kilohertz and I designed it for a 10 kilohertz crossover frequency. So that is very nice. I've got a nice bandwidth, 10 kilohertz of crossover frequency. And over here on this box, it, the, the software is giving me my phase margin. I've got 60 degrees of phase margin and of course we define the phase margin as when we draw a line from up here down to here, how much above 180 degrees, minus, a bigger pardon, minus 180 degrees it's going to be. Uh, please note that there are some textbooks that show the start counting either from zero or from, min from, from minus 180 degrees and that is purely whether or not you take into account the inverting action of the op amp. So if you suddenly find that, that you might be looking at minus 180 or zero, it really doesn't matter. It's just where your point of reference is. So I have got a very nice stable power supply in terms of my phase margin. I'd like to look at the gain margin and of course the gain margin was defined as the value that gain is below 0 dB when the phase hits 360 degrees or in our case in this axis will be the 0 degrees. And you can see that by the time I've reached half the switching frequency this is 100 kilohertz and the switching power supply at the moment is running at 200 kilohertz. My phase has not even hit the zero or minus 180 degrees point and which means that I have got a very large gain margin. So if I actually put, drag this cursor over you will see that by the time I have reached half the switching frequency I have got about 25 dBs of gain margin which is ample. So by the time this hits zero, it will be even better. And finally, one other thing that we said we're going to look at was the slope at which the uh, um, gain plot crossed the zero dB. Now here is my zero dB. If you look at the gradient a little bit carefully, you see that the slope here is quite sharp. But because of the way I have designed a compensator, it shallows down. And it shallows down 
just before it crosses over and therefore I have got a nice shallow crossover which was of course the last criteria for the stability of the power supply. This is a very nice and stable power supply with 60 degrees of phase margin, more than 25 dBs of uh, um, gain margin and a very nice and shallow crossover with a high bandwidth of 10 kilohertz. Um, in the next video, we are going to go through the details of how you set up the equipment in order to make these measurements. Thank you very much for listening.